How to Read a Pump Curve 101 This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain TACO equipment. Please read the on-screen disclaimer before viewing this video. Knowing how to read and interpret a pump curve is important to any HVAC professional. Whether you're a residential installer working on a hydronic home heating system, or an HVAC engineer designing a large, complex commercial system, you need to understand pump curves to select the right size pump to meet the requirements of your system. This video covers the basic information on how to read a pump curve based on pump head and flow. A pump performance curve, usually just called a pump curve, is a graphical representation of the performance of a pump based on testing by the pump manufacturer. Every pump has its own curve, and those curves vary widely from pump to pump. The variations depend on many factors, such as the horsepower of the pump and the size and the shape of the impeller. Pump curves can be used to provide information on many other elements of pump performance. Some of these are of interest only for designing commercial systems. We'll cover these in another video lesson available on the TACO website. In the simplest and most widely used form, a pump curve shows two vital pump performance factors, flow and head. Flow, measured in gallons per minute, is the rate at which water must be moved to carry heat throughout a hydronic system. Too much flow results in system noise. Too little flow means insufficient heat will reach at least some areas of the building. Pressure is usually measured in PSI, pounds per square inch. But in hydronics, we calculate pressure in terms of head pressure, or head loss, as measured in head feet. Technically, head is the total mechanical energy content of a fluid at a given point in a piping system. A circulator has to produce a sufficient pressure differential to overcome the pressure, or head loss, created in the piping by friction, and by the various valves and fittings in the system. Converting PSI to head loss is very simple. A column of water 2.31 feet or 28 inches high will have a gauge pressure at the bottom of 1 PSI. Therefore, 1 PSI of pressure drop in a system equals 2.31 feet of head. Let's see how these two factors look on a pump curve graph. The curve enables you to see how this pump will perform at any given point within its performance range. You can see, for example, that at a flow rate of 10 gallons per minute, the pump will produce between 7 and 8 feet of head. Or you can look at it the other way around. At 4 feet of head, this pump will generate a flow rate of just about 17 gallons per minute. Reading the pump curve makes it easy to choose a pump for a particular hydronic system. Technically, if the head and flow operating point of your system is located on or below a given pump's performance curve, then that pump will be sufficient to do that job. So if your system requires a flow rate of 12 gallons per minute and a head of 4 feet, the 007 will easily meet those requirements. It will also meet the system requirements if you need a flow rate of 6 GPM and a head of 2 feet, or 5 feet, or any other intersection of flow rate and head in the area below the curve. Here's a graph showing the curves for the various models of Tayco 00 circulators. Using our same example of a system that requires 12 gallons per minute flow at 4 feet of head, we can see that several models of circulators will meet those requirements. The 0010, or the 0011, or the 0012, and the 0013 too. As you can also see on the graph, pump curves can be very different for different pumps. Here's the curve for a Tayco 009 circulator. You can see that this pump can generate much higher head than the 007, up to approximately 35 feet of head. But the 009 can only produce a flow rate of just about 10 gallons per minute. We say the curve for the 009 circulator is a steep curve. The 0012 has a very different shaped curve. This pump can produce a lot of flow, up to 52 GPM according to its curve, but can produce a maximum of only 14 feet of head pressure. We call this a flat pump curve. 
It's helpful to think of Tayco double-O fixed-speed circulators in terms of families that are grouped together by their curves. The 005, 007, 0010, and 0012 circulators are all members of the flat curve family. As you can see by their curves, they can produce high flow rates but relatively low pressure. A smaller flat curve pump, such as the 005 or 007, is ideal as a system circulator for zone valves in standard residential jobs or as a zone pump. The larger flat curve pumps, like the 0010 and 0012, are designed for larger residential jobs or light commercial applications. On the other hand, models 008, 0011, 0013, and 0014 are all in the steep curve family. Compared to pumps with a flat curve, these circulators can generate a lot of head pressure but comparatively low flow. These circulators are best for higher head applications such as high head loss fan coils, air handlers, and heat exchangers. A third family is small but worth mentioning. It includes the 003 and 006. Both these circulators are designed for domestic hot water applications. That leaves the 009, which is in a family of its own. This pump is specifically made for solar applications. That covers fixed-speed circulators, but we also need to look at the curves of two other types of circulators used in residential jobs. The first is the three-speed pump. This curve is for the Tayco 0015 three-speed cartridge circulator. The curve for a three-speed pump actually consists of three separate curves, one for each of the pump speed settings. The pump can operate on any one of these curves, but not between them. That brings us to Tayco variable speed delta T circulators, which are different from all the pumps we've talked about so far. Here's the curve for the 008 VDT. It looks the same as the curve for any fixed speed circulator, but you read it very differently. A Tayco VDT circulator operates on its own curve, just like every other pump but it also operates at any other point below the curve depending on the needs of the system. In contrast, this 008 fixed speed pump can operate only at points along its curve, not above or below it. The pump has no choice but to operate on its curve, and it doesn't matter what head and flow the system needs at any given moment. But the VDT variable speed pump can and does operate anywhere within the shaded area, depending on the specific, immediate flow and pressure needs of the system. In other words, a fixed speed circulator forces the system to work on its curve. A Tayco variable speed circulator adjusts its curve to meet the needs of the system. Now you have the basic information that you need to read pump curves and use them to choose the right pump for any residential job. But there is still more information on the Tayco website, plus a handy tool for finding pump curves. It's called the Pump Selection Wizard. Just put in the head and flow rate of your job, and the Pump Wizard will show you all of the Tayco pumps that meet those requirements. You can do the same thing on your mobile device with our Pump Wizard app. It works the same way as the website version, and it puts the information in your hand wherever you have an internet connection. Download it for your mobile device from your favorite app store. This concludes How to Read a Pump Curve 101. For additional resources, product information, and comprehensive tech support, please visit Taiko on the web at www.takohvac.com.